In this video, I want to show you how to upgrade the operating system on a TI-92 Plus. Even though this says 92, it is actually a 92 Plus. I just replaced the cover or the case. The reason why I did that is because the 92 Plus does not come with uh, a screen protector or screen cover, as you can see here, which the 92 does. And this is going to prevent my display from scratching. Okay, so this is the uh, hardware revision 2. That's the one that has the clock. And uh, the software is uh, very ancient, 1999. The last time he received an update, I believe it was in 2003. And the latest uh, operating system is uh, 2.09. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So first thing first, you are going to need uh, this uh, cable right here. It is called uh, a silver link cable. And this is... Uh, can be hard to find sometimes but I, i've uh, i've seen some on ebay for twenty dollars twenty five dollars so that's all you need okay so that's what it looks like i already have a plugged in onto to the computer so the silver link cable is uh, a usb a let me unplug it so it's a usb a to uh, this uh 2.5 i believe 2.5 millimeter jack and uh this right here goes into this uh, IO port right here. It is essentially the same size as uh, pretty much any text instrument calculator that supports uh, uh, the IO. So that would be uh, the 8083, 84 plus, the 89 titanium. But yeah, so this is how you uh, this is how you upgrade the operating system. So first, you are going to need uh, the silver link cable. Okay, USB A to uh, to uh, uh, this uh, jack right here. USB A to 2.5 jack. Okay, I'm also doing this in a virtual computer because it was not working on my laptop earlier, so it's probably some driver issues. Okay, so let me go and maximize the display here. So I already plugged in the cable. Uh, let me make sure I connect it here to the virtual machine. You don't have to do this extra step. This is just uh, uh, if you are doing it in a virtual computer, I mean a virtual uh, machine. See, it's really the same thing. So I'm just gonna plug this, okay. But if you're if you're just doing it on your laptop, you know, uh, you just need to plug uh, plug in the cable. You don't have to install any drivers. I don't think you, I don't think you need any drivers. Okay. So once we have that out of the way, I can plug in the calculator, or I can wait. You know, it really does matter. So I'm just gonna plug it. Okay. And I'm just gonna set it aside. So once you plug into the calculator, you don't have to do anything. Okay, something I also want to mention before I forget, uh, in theory or technically you could upgrade uh, the 92 plus using a, another 92 plus, but that really, I haven't been that lucky, that, I haven't been uh, lucky with uh, that kind of, uh, with that method. So first thing first, we are going to uh, need to get the operating system, not the operating system, the software to uh, do the flash. So I'm just going to go to Google. Okay, let me just uh, start from scratch so open a browser and uh, I'm already in Google but you just go to Google and uh, you type uh, TI connect and uh, that's the operating system that's the uh, software we are going to need to do the uh, firmware update so TI connect press enter and oftentimes it's going to be the first link the CE you don't want that one because that is for the color edition so if your calculator is not color then uh, you are going to need the first one just the TI connect and the logo is also going to be uh, this right here, the blue and yellow. That's going to be for the non-color text instrument calculators. And uh, the the method I'm about to show you is going to work for pretty much all text instrument with uh, with uh, a non-color display. Okay. So you scroll down. If you want to make sure you are you are getting the right one, it's gonna list the name of all the calculators uh, that can be flashed using this uh, uh, software. It says 92 here, but that is really not true. The 92 cannot be flash. I don't know why they have that here. Maybe at first they, they wanted to make a flashable, but uh, it's really not flashable. Okay. So all you need to do is just uh, get the, uh, uh, the software here, download. And it's going to take, take you to this page. And you want to make sure you get the right version for your computer. So TI Connect Software for Windows, English version. So I'm just going to press Enter. I mean, uh, hit. And uh, start the download. And uh, it's already been downloaded, so I can just go to my download here. 
and uh, it's going to be on the program and I'm just gonna go ahead and install it okay you can just uh, press next okay this app does not have any uh, any does not come with any hidden program so you can just uh, press next on everything okay. I can just close this window I'm already done with it I can also close this one as well okay. and my calculator is still on so this, sh this shouldn't take a long time it should be done uh, in just a second okay so that's it I'm just gonna press on finish press enter and uh, it has a shortcut here for me so I'm just gonna open it up Again, just make sure your calculator is uh, uh, on, okay. And also make sure it is uh, in the home on the home screen. You know, that's not really uh, required, but it's always good to have your calculator on the home screen because if you are uh, sending uh, programs or apps on this calculator and it's not, you are in a different window. You are like, let's say you are in a graph page or graph window, it's not going to work. So just uh, it's a good habit to get used to having the calculator on the home screen whenever you are, are going to transfer some data. Okay, so home screen, so to, we, you can just uh, double click on our, our TI device explorer, double click on it, and it's gonna take a while. And uh, it says TI92 plus detected, but couldn't get status. Okay, that is okay, we can figure out. This app, I mean, this software is uh, can be finicky sometimes. So what you need what what you need to do is uh, go to tool and uh, TI OS downloader. So press OK, and it's already uh, showing the, my device here, and it says USB cable. That is fine. I'm gonna pr uh, press next, and uh, I'm gonna do start download. So this is where it's going to get the software from the operating system. In case you wonder, like, uh, well, how do I know it is? It has the right operating system. It shows you the uh, version of the operating system here. So OS 209, that's the latest version for this one. But unfortunately, if you are using the TI-92, uh, the TI-89 Titanium or the Voyage 200, you may not have the latest firmware because Texas Instruments didn't care much to upgrade the firmware i mean to up to uh, uh upgrade their software or update their software because the ti connect comes with pretty much all the software for all the legacy calculators the non color ones and he's got the software for the 84 plus which is not the latest uh, uh firmware so let's say you have uh, a ti 84 plus that you want to upgrade the firmware of and it is already running on the uh on a uh, firmware 2.22 then if you try to upgrade it using this software, it's not going to work, and you might be, you might get confused. That's because, unfortunately, you cannot uh, downgrade the firmware on these things. So if uh, the the upgrade fails, that means you are trying to downgrade it, and the only way you can find out is uh, by coming here to check to make sure uh, to make sure you have the right uh, firmware operating system. If you don't, then you can just do a Google a Google search, and uh, it's fairly easy to find the latest firmware of these calculators on Google. So that's what I did, you know. Okay, so now you know this is the path for that. It can be hard to see, so there you go. This is the path. Okay. So I'm gonna close this and go back to here. And uh, hopefully everything is gonna go, it's gonna work fine. So I'm just gonna press start download. If it fails, then okay. So it says TI connect as detected that the OS on your device may not work with uh, the USB cable. Okay, so I'm just gonna press OK. And uh, it's gonna take me straight to this uh, download page, download window. And uh, I'm just gonna hope, at this point we can just hope. So I'm just gonna pause the video and uh, come back whenever the, uh, whenever the upgrade is complete. Okay, so the upgrade is done. It took uh, quite a long time. I want to say about 30 minutes or even 40 minutes. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, I am running the latest firmware. Let's see about. And uh, this is uh, 2.09. And the reason why it took uh, so long to uh, 
uh, flash firmware, it could be because um, I selected USB instead of a silver link cable. So if you are doing a the upgrade, so this is still going on, you can just uh, stop it. You know, at this stage, I can just uh, unplug the cable and it will be totally fine. Okay. So let me just. Uh... Okay, so. <laughs> Let's see. I just want to close everything here. Okay. So if you go to, uh, let's see. Um, okay. I'm just going to try to improvise. So I'm just going to cancel this. And I'm going to go to uh, Tool OS Downloader. So there's no calculator connected right now. But. If I were to select, uh, let's see, gray cable or black cable, sometimes you have the option to select a silver link cable, so you can just select that. But in my case, I picked a USB cable and uh, that was fairly slow. Okay, and some of you might say that, uh, oh, maybe you are using a virtual uh, computer, maybe that's why it is it was slow. But now that's not the case. You know, this, like I said, this uh, program is finicky. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it does not want to work at all. But uh, if you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section.